All right, here now is Katie Fitzgerald, Feeding America president and COO. Katie, good to see you. So first, let's go to Florida. What are, what are you guys doing on the ground in Florida? I, obviously, as you think about it, if homes are flooded, I'm sure grocery stores are flooded, food is ruined. Are you on the ground helping Floridians? Yeah, you bet we are, Sean. And let me first say we are, um, our hearts and our prayers are with everyone who are who's impacted in Florida. The Feeding America Network of Food Banks is led uh, down uh, in Florida right now by Feeding Florida. And what we do is we're there 365 days a year. So we have a plan in place that we have already activated. We pre-staged product, MREs, water, paper supplies, disaster boxes, uh, all sorts of nutritional supplements. And those have been strategically placed throughout the state and in communities at community-based pantries and areas where they were, could safely be, be staged. And so we're activating now to get that food out to people. Of course, we're in still search and rescue mode in many communities, but people's needs for housing and food are vital and immediate right now. You know, let's, let's pull back a little bit. You look at the country as a whole and the food banks that uh, you offer assistance to Americans. Have you seen a rise in the number of people coming in and needing food assistance? Yes, sadly, Sean, we have uh, the, the increased prices on food and certainly in fuel uh, before prices went down somewhat now um, are just cutting into people's budgets and people are having to make really difficult decisions between do they pay their rent, their mortgage, their medical uh, bills or prescriptions uh, or get food and people will cut food. So we have seen uh, record lines at food banks uh, even in over the summer. August for many of our food banks was the highest they've seen even as compared to the pandemic. The difference is uh, we're not in the pandemic so people can go to their local pantries. Uh, we don't have the large drive-through distributions that we had before but the need is very high and this disaster is uh, going to make things even worse, especially for those folks immediately impacted. You know, I've, I've talked to a number of people who have had to cut out meat, you know, with their, they'll, they'll do spaghetti without, you know, meat in the sauce and a, a number of uh, things like that, peanut butter and jelly, no ham and cheese sandwiches. It's just been so hard on people. Uh, talk to me about what you think is going to happen on, on food prices. We just uh, heard Jeff Locke talking about how this, how this hurricane can impact fertilizer prices, the war in Ukraine, Ukraine's a breadbasket that helps feed the world. Energy prices are up. You know, what do you see with food prices? Are we going to see some dissipation in prices or are they going to continue to rise? You know, Sean, I, I wish I knew. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm all about getting food to hungry people. So I, I don't know uh, for sure what we can expect to see in food prices. What I do know is that, uh, as your earlier speaker said, any additional um, pressure or uh, uh, injury to the supply chain uh, will have an impact on the, the price of food, the price of fuel, and our ability to uh, buy groceries for our families and afford that and feed people who are hungry. And uh, when these things happen, the difficult thing to recognize is that it really can tip people who are on the margin into food insecurity because they're experiencing right now the cost of evacuation, the cost of temporary housing, uh, you know, home repairs that they're having to do right now before federal aid can really hit the ground. So uh, I would expect that if we continue to see real problems in the supply chain, we're going to continue to have a struggle with Kate, food prices. Katie, quickly, if, if people wanted to help out, um, where do they go if they want to donate to your organization? I can't hear you. If, pe if people wanted to donate, uh, if people want to help out, where can they do that? Oh, we lost Katie, I think. All right, well. Sorry, she um, I, th I think we lost you. We got little gremlins in our connection. I apologize for that.